Okay, so here we go. Big Chris Cooks. Um, the very first video I ever did was pretty silly. My wife just started recording me out of the blue. Uh, I've been drinking quite a bit after work, so I know that probably wasn't very professional. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try to make some jambalaya today. Um, I uh, boiled a whole value pack of bone-in chicken thighs. Took all the meat off, so we're going to throw that in the pan first, brown it up probably about two pounds of cooked meat maybe four cups pan's already hot as you can hear I hope so generally our first step we're going to brown it off so that we get some the brown in on the bottom of the pan and on the meat since this is pretty fatty meat, it should be fine. You have a little bit of vegetable oil in there. But, we're also going to put some sausage in there. This is some andouille and some uh, Cajun smoked sausage. They're very similar. One maybe a little spicier. So we're going to put about a pound of that in there. The rest of this is going to be going into a pot of red beans and rice that I have going over here to the magic of television. We'll see all that turn back in. Okay. So we're going to brown this off. So we get some good flavors going. We got about a cup and a half, two cups of yellow onion. Already diced that up beforehand, so that y'all aren't watching me do that. About two cups of chopped celery. And these are peppers that were grown in my yard. There's some jalapeno that are red, and I'm not sure what the other ones are. Somebody gave me some seed ones they had started. I think they might be uh, Anaheim or Pasilla mix or something. Again, about two cups. fresh ground black pepper. Now when I boiled the chicken, I boiled it, I did one quart of chicken stock, and then I used about two quarts of water. I put a couple of bay leaves in there and some dry thyme, a little bit of salt and pepper. And that was all, nothing fancy. Now on my red beans and rice, I put about a quarter cup of the celery, quarter cup of the peppers, quarter cup of the onions. fresh garlic. This is probably, I don't know, it depends on the size of the cloves, four or five, three big ones. That was probably two and a half tablespoons, roughly chopped. I'm using sea salt. I'm not going to go crazy with that. You see how much I'm putting on here like this. In the video, it's probably about, that was probably a teaspoon. I use reduced sodium, by the way, on the broth or the, the stock that I use, so not a lot of salt in that. You can always add it later. So right now we're going to brown this stuff up so all the vegetables and everything are translucent. And we're starting to stick to the pan a little bit so that we're getting that browning. Once we get that going good off my skillet, I'll clean the skillet with some broth, transfer this over into a different pan so that I can put rice and broth in it. But right now I'm going to cook it in my cast iron because I don't have my, uh, my Dutch oven. I have a, a, a five gallon one or I have a smaller one that I use for frying stuff in and it has oil in it. And so that's just hanging out there. So I'm going to transfer this into a different pot. I know that rice and stuff are going to fit in there. All right, we'll check in a little while. All right, so it's been 27 minutes in real time. 
Um, it's the first time I've taken the lid off. I haven't looked at it, so we'll find out how good I am today. You guys can get to critique it. Because I won't be uh, untruthful about it. Alright, let's stir the pot. Rice looks done. Might be a little bit wetter than I would have liked, but you know, you don't want it to be dry. Now, you might want to have maybe a salad or something like that, something nice and fresh. You could do, I don't know, if you don't want salad, I don't know, just some green peas or, or I don't know what you, you know, whatever you like, man. Saute some greens, something like that. Maybe you had some collards or something if you'd like to do a pot of collard greens. You know, something like that would go well on the side. Um, so, yeah. burn my face off that's not good I won't even know if it tastes so good a little hot rice is just barely done but done not hard not crunchy so I'm probably gonna let it sit a couple more minutes rice will tender up and so I've got the rest of this little bit of liquid that's in there. The flavor is dead on. Um, you want to try this recipe out? Do it. Comment. Let me know what you think. How how you like it? Um, it's got a little kick to it. Not crazy spicy. Uh, I seeded the peppers and deveined them so they wouldn't be too hot. But if you wanted it more spicy, or if you want, you know, add more hot sauce. You know, if you didn't want the seeds, maybe maybe you got diverticulitis. Maybe you can't eat seeds. I don't know. I don't know what your situation is. Um, but anyway, on this other side over here, we did the red beans and rice. They're still cooking. They're not really ready. Maybe we'll uh, do a whole video for that at some other point. But again, you saw the basic uh, ingredients were here in this video. Um, you can use the chicken broth for that. You know, a quarter cup of everything. Um, you know, you got to put some paprika in there, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, maybe a teaspoon of each in a pot that size. Um, these were dried beans, not from a can. Um, anyway, this is Big Chris Cooks. Subscribe, press the like button, and uh, see you next time.